Hey guys, how are you? Liam Kearney here again. Um, so this is day eight of my 30 day challenge. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about being found on the internet. Um, if you're building a brand for yourself, um, obviously you want to be found on your own name. But the other side of that is, is that being found for your own name will take time and will take effort and you need a plan for it. And that's for, so for me, um, building a brand and building my own name now will pay off for me in one year, two years, five years down the line. That That's when I become the big brand. Um, in the meantime, and for the shorter term, you need to think about being ranked for certain keywords that people are searching for. So, for example, if people are searching for marketing in Ireland, then I want to be found for that because I'm in Ireland and I'm selling marketing services so you need to be thinking that way of like if some if whatever your business is whatever it is that you're selling whatever services that you have to offer you need to be thinking about what people would be searching to find uh, somebody who has your skill set and then you basically go to Google use the keyword tool there and you actually go and look up these search terms and see what people are actually looking for and then you can make a plan about being found for those search terms. Because most people will essentially like, for example, if you go and get ranked under your own name, that's great. If people know who you are, you know, like if people search Bill Gates, I'm sure they'll find lots of stuff up there. But everybody knows who Bill Gates is. So you need to search Bill Gates to find out who he is, like everybody knows who he is already. But if you didn't know who Bill Gates was, You'd never look up Bill Gates. So you might look up Microsoft and then you'd find Bill Gates. So it works the same thing for depending on what your business is. You need to think about what services it is or how people would search for your services. And then you need to try and rank for those terms because those ones are the ones where buyers come in. If somebody's looking for, um, I don't even know now, an, an estate agent, you know, somebody in real estate, then essentially you need to be there, be found for people who are actually looking for estate agents, you know, and that'll generally be like an estate agent in a certain place, because once you get around to that, um, uh, then it's like, well, somebody who's actually looking for, you know, uh, semi-detached houses in Boston is probably a bigger buyer you know, a bigger chance of them actually looking, they're, they're looking to buy something or rent something there instead of somebody who's like, well, looking for property in general or estate agents, you know. So the more, the more narrow the search terms is, the more uh, focused you can be with that, the better chance you have of getting better quality targeted tra traffic. So when I started off, I thought you wanted to get as big a net as possible out there, but you don't want to get a big net. What you want to get is small nets that are really, really highly targeted because it means that each one of the fish to fall into that net will be a buyer and have you have a better chance of making money out of those instead of having a really, really big net, paying for leads to come in or generic traffic, whichever way you're getting them, and then most of those turn out not to be buyers. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, essentially... Ranking for your own name is a good way to build a brand or if it's ranking for a business name, you do want to be found under that. But it all comes down to how many people are actually going to be finding, looking for that. If you're a new business and you're starting out and you haven't got lots of money to spend, that may not be the best way to go. What you want to be doing is you want to be going after people who are actually looking for your services and targeting them highly and speaking to them in a way that they understand.